Benny, where are we going? We're going to the happiest place in Sydney to get some happy pancakes. Happy pancakes? What makes them happy? I don't know, because I forgot the script. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> And so basically there's two of us, me and Jesse. So Jesse's the head chef and the other founder. And uh, we've been in the industry our whole working lives. We used to just text each other, oh, look at these pancakes. You can't get pancakes like this in Sydney. Yeah. Oh, look at this muffin. No one does good muffins in Sydney. Look at this, look at that. And then eventually he's like, should we just open a place that serves all these things that we really want? And, and why, why have a feel? We were looking everywhere. So we were just looking for something with a bit of character. And people thought we were a bit crazy opening in Haberfield, you know, Little Italy, very old school, older demographic, and we just, we just love the building. But like, if we can make a name for ourselves, like, people will come, and it took about 15 minutes on the first day we were open, we're like, oh, I think we've made a name for ourselves. Like, What's Happy Field known for? Um, well, thankfully, Pancakes. Pancake Man was always a logo, and we kind of said in the lead up to opening, hopefully they're popular, because otherwise they're going to look pretty stupid having a pancake mascot. Yeah. And literally, like, <laughs> the first three tables that walked in was short stack with bacon, emoji stack, which is like however many you want. Yeah. So you can stack them kind of as high as you want. Yeah. And then our third table was like a mum and two kids and it was sweet stack, short stack, savory stack. And we're like, okay, pancakes are going off. Do you know what the height is for each pancake? The height? Yeah, what's the perfect pancake We call height? it half a pinky. Half a pinky. Half a oh, pinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shockers. <laughs> so yeah, we always say we have like three golden rules for our pancakes, not all pancakes, but like thinner than a pinky, can fold it twice without it breaking. Oh. And uh, what's the third rule? I don't know. Aerodynamic. <laughs> what do you think makes Happy Field Pancakes different? Uh, the simplicity. So the whole thing was for us, like pancakes was like the first thing that was on our on our minds. And we actually looked up top 10 pancake, pancakes in Sydney. And in our eyes, none of them are pancakes. They're, they're all thick. They match up. They're green. They've got fairy floss. They've got Nutella. They've got Biscoff. They're everything and everything. And we just wanted to take it back. We wanted a, a Macca's style hotcake. Yes. Um, good butter, yeah. good syrup, and, and just keep it really simple. And then if you want one with berries and cream, we've got that. Go on with eggs and bacon, we've got that. But that's it. Like people come asking for Nutella, and we're like, no, there's no Nutella yeah. here. Do you make your own butter? No, we actually use pepper so, Oh, the circle yeah, one. Yeah, the, the circle one. one. Yeah. The guy with the nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The bottle with the nose. whipped up the happiest meal. So the, that's definitely by far the most popular item. And it's like a breakfast platter for one. If you're coming for the first time and you're hungry and you've waited a table, you can like down that and you're gonna be one, one happy camper. Which one do you reckon you could eat? Every day? Every day for a week straight. Probably the broken egg burger. Right. So that's yeah. like it's like the McLovin muffins, you know, little cousin that kind of everyone goes for the McLovin muffin. Yeah. That's sick how the cheese goes up. Good yeah. bacon yeah. egg roll, no thrills. It goes hard. It's one of my favourites is the, um, the fish burger. The fish fillet. Uh, that was um, the, the 100 day lockdown and we were doing this one exclusive item and there were some big fans and we had a customer actually start a petition yeah. to bring it back after lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring so back the, the fish fillet. Yeah. Let's quickly ask you about like the theme of the restaurant, the colour palette and the textures. Yes. Yeah, so so I'm digging these booths. Yeah, yeah, yeah so booths. yellow was always a big part of the branding because pancakes, fried eggs, butter, all all that so it was always yellow creams off white um, and in terms of the design like when people talk out about the design that's something one of the things we're most proud of that we had to design it ourselves we didn't know what it was going to look like until four days before we opened all the furniture's custom made. It was oh, made. custom made? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You so guys made the centre table? Yeah, so my dad uh, tiled the table and piece by piece it all just came together and it wasn't until we put the furniture in we're like, oh, this place looks pretty cool. <laughs> One of the things that makes it so special is our people. Look at these guys. You got it, you got it. 
The specials. You gotta go the specials. All right. And me and Jesse are always here. <laughs> Who's better on uh, NBA Jam? <laughs> Definitely me. Definitely <laughs> me. Yeah, from downtown. Yeah, yeah. From downtown. I've got an NBA machine. He's better at Street Fighter. I'm better at NBA Jam. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta start with one of my mask orders, the fish fillet. If it has to start together. When to become one. <laughs> it's like a fillet of fish on roids. Because it's dark, it feels like it's gonna be a bit drier than what it seems, but as soon as you bust that bad boy open, it's flaky as hell. Macca's on a big budget, eh? It's uh fancy Macca's. Packers. Soft and good. The savory stack. Crispy bacon, egg, butter, syrup, served on a cloud of a pancake. Extra butter. That's a red hot mess. Cheers. 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 I don't know how that works. If you're like, yeah, man, I'm gonna do some pancakes, put an egg on it, some bacon, some maple syrup. I'd be like, man, how stoned are you? <laughs> All the flavors aren't like combining. You can taste them all separately. Yeah, man, they're not like mushing together. You could eat each and every one of them on their own. Jenga, baby. I have to approach it like I'm gonna go down on somebody. But I can't do it sideways. I'm gonna have to center this part. Loosen up the center jaw. that so it looks like. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I can't forget about the sodas. If the soda's that good, imagine their cocktails. Oh, we'll dig into the big boy, the happiest meal. Short stack of pancakes, the two hashies, and the McLovin muffin. And the muffin is done with the chicken sausage, which I find to be better because it's not as dry as uh, normal beef Let's sausage. Let's have a good look at that. Oh. Oh. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh. Oh. I'm out of control. Oh, hold on. That's nice. Now the heroes, the pancakes. What I love about them is that I loaded them up with syrup, probably more than one should, and they didn't turn out to be mushy or super soggy. Right, I'm going to roll this bad boy up. You know what you're doing? You're going to smoke in a pancake. A smoke in a pancake. To the chest. Is that a three time? One, two, three. Yeah, that'll do. Holding it up. I think that's the way to go. Just done to perfection, no messing around. Extra butter, like is that deep fried in butter? Whoop, there it is. Proof that it doesn't have to be complicated to be good. From coffee to cocktails, sweet, savory, Happy Fields got it all. Bring everyone, your friends, your family, your wife, your boyfriend, your wife's boyfriend. Do us a solid, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new episodes. And until then, leave us a comment and let us know where we can get some heaps good pancakes. Don't forget to follow us on Insta. Thanks for watching. We love you.